to tip back again for another Monday. And today we are grabbing this 1972 yearbook and we are going to burn it up. Yep, you got it. We're using fire today. So I am just taking this um, lighter thing. This is a moist, okay, a wet paper towel. And I'm going to char and burn some things, okay? And so originally when I started this page, I was going to take all of these little faces and use them. And then um, you'll see it hit me to use the back side of this. So you just never know. Had no idea until I was in the thick of it. And then I thought, well, this is pretty cool. And so um, I'm just taking the flame, as you see, and depending on what type of paper, because this was yearbook and had kind of like a coating on it, it took a second to start to uh, flame up. But I, if you are a child watching um, this video, do not try this, okay? Please do not try this. So you want to be super, super careful, um, and you want to have um, the proper equipment. <laughs> that was a joke. But anyway, um, I, it's just a damp paper towel that I'm using to... Um, Put the fire out before the whole thing burns up. I just wanted that charred effect um, to the photo that I don't think would um, be achieved any other way. So, um, please be cautious when you do this. Um, do not burn your house down trying to burn um, these, <laughs> these uh, pictures or whatever you're burning. So... Okay, so now we've got a cool substrate. I'm using my um, altered book brochure. What is this thing? I keep saying it's an altered book, but it's really not. It's kind of like a um, manual. That's what it is, Tiffany. It's a manual. I'm putting down some Deco Arts Matte Gel Medium just to get some good um, coverage. And I'm using the little pieces of burnt. Um, paper the ashes like around the edges I'm going to use that to gel medium those down and use them into the page and so I thought this page turned out pretty cool and I'm not really sure just like everything else I don't ever know where it's going to go I did just know I wanted to burn up some stuff this morning and well why not bring an audience with you is what I say so, so uh, it did take some finessing here to get all of these things kind of stuck down. Uh, but if you're patient with it, which is not my um, best um, quality, but if you are patient with it and you just work with it with the gel medium, it will completely stick down to the page. And so uh, I did this one day and then I let it dry. I think, no, maybe this was the same day. And I decided to come back with some gesso and just kind of white out some um, of the areas. And like we have this big hole over here to the side. So I was trying to figure out what did I want to do with that. Um, You know, just random thoughts that run through Tiffany's brain. Scary business, people. Scary business. And I'm just taking the brayer and kind of muting out. And then I'm taking that damp paper towel that I had and I'm just going to um I thought I used alcohol inks I actually use acrylic inks huh interesting uh you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there I I did this page over a few days um because I've been busy with work and I forgot what I used so I wrote the wrong thing on the recipe but anyway that's not here nor there so um, I'm going in here with some um, chalk paints, and at the end, you're, that's not really going to be a big deal because you could get the same effect without the chalk paint. And I actually forgot that I used that too. Huh, I got to do better. Anyway, so I'm just, as you can see, going in with my fingers here, and if it gets too muted on some of the people, I'm just wiping those back. So you can still see that there's like people back there, little humans. And then, excuse me, and then I'm kind of playing with the idea of what I want to do. And as you see, I cut the man in the middle out. 
Isn't that a song? Huh. Okay. It's random things that runs through my head. Lord, I probably shouldn't say these things outside, out loud. But anyway, I am going to, I wanted to kind of create a negative space to create a focal inside of this person's body. And I'm just tinkering here with some papers to decide what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And um, I ultimately do find the right paper for this. And I'm going to go in here with some crackle paste because what goes great with burn charred photos other than crackle paste? So I thought this would be a great way to also increase the texture value here. Is that really? I don't think that's a thing, but it's a Tiffany thing. So I'm going to increase the texture value by creating those crackles. And as we know, because I use it all the time, you do have to let that stuff dry by itself. So I went to work and I'm in my pajamas, my holiday pajamas this morning. And I am going to, <clears throat> now that I found the perfect paper to go behind excuse me, the negative space, I'm going to kind of um, vintage photo distress ink those edges because I don't, I didn't like that I could see some of the white. And guys, there was no way I could have cut that thing out on camera because it was hindsight. I wish I would have known I was going to cut him out because I could have cut him out very easily before I stuck him down. But you know what? Y'all, y'all know how it goes. You just don't know. So I'm going to go in here with the Uhu glue stick and I am using a 1911 prescription. Uh -huh, just thought you guys should know. Um, to cover the background. I can't believe you people actually watch me. I am a nutball. Okay, and so I'm going to just stick this little doohickey down here. Technical terms. If you were watching me for the first time, you probably think I'm crazy. And yes, you're probably right. I'm going to tape up the very back where I cut that little slice. Um, I'm going to just tape it up with some masking tape um, so that we don't have that little like slice that I had to use to cut the little person out. So you won't really be able to tell that. And then I wanted to save the rest of my 1911 prescription right there. And so I'm going to tear it off and I really like it. It just makes a really nice contrast interesting. And one of the things that this page was really about was about bending the rules, trying things that you haven't tried before, pushing the limits, Thinking, and this is something I think often, is like, what else will make it more interesting in the page? How am I feeling right now? What's feeling good to the gut? And what can I do that's going to bring just a little more? Hmm, that's pretty cool. So, I did find those little tiny words, and it says, bend the rules. And so, I'm going to end up gluing that into the body. Now, what I did do is I took that blending stump just to make that um, crackle paste pop. So, I went around it so it would be um, dark crackles and kind of make it like bring more attention to that area. And I'm really happy with that. And then, of course, as you see, I found some book words that say bend the rules. And I thought it was perfect for this particular page since that's what I was trying to accomplish. So... Ta-da! And now I am going to show you guys, I think I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go over it with graphite a little bit so that it just pops just a little bit more. But as you can see, it is crackle fabulous and it looks all grungy and very cool. And so I really enjoy making this page. But as you know, because this is our Monday journal, we have to go and write our recipe. And well, this is where Tiffany forgot because... I did this over a course of a few days, and I kind of forgot what I used. So, forgive me, but I'm going to call that acrylic um, fluid ink that we put on that, like, um, what was it? It was kind of like a Nicolazo gold color, but that's not the color we used. Um, I thought it was alcohol inks. So, bear with me, folks. You know, I am human. I do, from time to time, make a mistake. So, yearbook photo burned. Check. Create a negative focal by cutting the little person out. And then I wrote alcohol wrong. 
I'm like, I think I'm missing an O here. And it really even wasn't alcohol inks at all. It was uh, fluid uh, acrylic ink. So, oh well. And then um, add the crackle paste. And you guys got the rest. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment and go find your girl over on Instagram. Until next time, toodaloo.